Okay, the truth about hunting part two. I love hunting and want to help the industry in the long run. That's my reason for doing this video. I need to say there are many good outdoor companies that don't fall into the trophy hunting hype. They simply advertise their, hunt, their products for what they are and they have a sincere wish to make our outdoor experience more enjoyable. I've been lucky enough to meet many hunters in life and online who have a healthy outlook on trophy hunting. They like to kill big deer, but they don't need to kill big deer to have a good time. They have a pure passion for hunting and the outdoors. They keep things in perspective. They don't have egos and they have great morals, values and character. These are people who I deeply respect such as Heidi, Ron, Mike Sr., Terry, and Terry, Debbie, Tim, Dale, Robert, Buck, Anne-Marie, Alan, George, just to name a few. You guys know who you are. These are the people who I respect and would much rather watch on TV and actually spend time with in person. These people are great examples of what enjoying hunting in the outdoors is all about. Now I want to talk about how I think things should be. I have a background in social work, so I know a little bit about how society works. I've watched how things become socially acceptable in North America, while watching hunting become less and less socially acceptable. We need to stop putting so much emphasis on trophy hunting and management. Advertisers need to stop using killing that trophy as a lifetime as a selling point. They need to advertise that the product will help with hunting in general or help take any animal. This will help with our public image and help take the emphasis off trophy hunting. We need to put more emphasis on the experience of being outdoors, family time, conservation, healthy living, and the hunter's brotherhood. We need to discourage anything that has to do with competition among hunters. We need to take down fences between hunters and have them work together to reach their goals. We need to stop the conflict among hunters. We need to stop making heroes out of guys who say they... Oops, pardon me. We need to stop making heroes out of guys who travel all over killing wildlife just to say they killed it or accomplished some kind of a slam. That makes us look really bad to the public in general. We need to stop buying into what some of these show hosts say while doing something else. Like other sports, we need to have professionals that have earned their spot and didn't get it because of their looks or because of the family that they were born into. We need to talk more about meat hunting and, hunting and the hunting experience more than we need to talk about hunting trophies. We need to advertise to the public that hunting is about food, family, healthy eating and living. That it's about population control and conservation, not about killing a bigger buck than your neighbor. Many companies, organizations and shows put out a good message about hunting. Unfortunately, the message is heard mostly by other hunters and not the non-hunting public. There are many good hunting organizations that do good work. I think all the organizations should keep doing what they do. I think the people in the industry with the money and the power should try to make hunting more socially acceptable by entering the mainstream via charities for the general public and not just hunting related charities. By advertising the positives of hunting in the mainstream media, that would help hunting tremendously. We also need to attract more kids. One way is to make hunting more appealing to them by getting involved in things that kids are already involved in instead of expecting the kids to find us. Then we can introduce them to hunters and hunting as we highlight the sport to them. We need to go to the kids that would otherwise never meet hunters or be introduced to hunting. As an example, I'll use my wildlife photography. Many times a week I meet people while shooting close to walking and biking paths. I found that some people wanted to hear about what I do and about deer. 
They respect what I know and become very receptive to me talking about hunting and its benefits. Now, I'll bet people would not be so receptive to me if they came across me on the trail in full camo with a gun or a bow. Now, I believe we can replicate the same technique in other scenarios by us hunters getting into the mainstream media and public and with kids and putting our message out that way on more of a personal level. So there you go. That's what's wrong with the industry and how I think it could be fixed. Before you start hating on me, just remember I did this video because I love hunting, I love the industry, and I love a lot of you guys. And I don't want to see this disappear. And for me to sit back and see all this stuff going wrong, I just need to say something. And like I said, I'm sorry some of you guys might not agree with what I have to say, but I said it and I'm going to live with it. So I'll see you all later.